Welcome back to another episode of YZ's Travel Videos. This time round, I will show you a glimpse of the Queensland town up north of Brisbane. So this place is called Bundaberg, home to the so-called famous Bundaberg Rum. This place has a lot of nice beaches, sugarcane, yeast and wheat farms. They are also home to the Bundaberg Rum Distillery, which is the main attraction. To get to Bundaberg, one would require three ways. The first is to take a train ride from Brisbane. Surprisingly, this train runs on electric lines, so that's good to see. I hear that they only have a couple of services a day, so make sure you catch the train on time. Otherwise, you will need to drive for 4 hours from Brisbane. Alternatively, you need to catch the plane there from Brisbane Airport, as they only have flights coming in from Brisbane, and they only have 4 flights a day. For that video of the flight, please see the link in the description box of my profile. Anyway, let's take a tour. So at Bundaberg City, they have two shopping centres as you can see in the background, a couple of churches and a railway station as mentioned from earlier. Not many trains pass through here, but I wish it did because it could drive more tourist traffic from Brisbane. Suffice to say, this is a good place to go for a day trip or even stay overnight. Locals are quite friendly, there's a lot of old folks. Personally, never encountered racism as a Chinese guy, but everyone's experience could be different. In the shopping centres, they have a Woolworths and a Coles, and that's about it. They have several parks you can visit during the daytime, but at night time, it's a little bit dodgy due to the lack of lighting. The lights are still yellow instead of white. Secondly, if you head up north, there are some botanical gardens you can visit. I took some drone footage right before the sunset, so check it out. If you walk around the area, you might encounter some cane toads, but that's because they were brought in initially to help kill the cane beetles that were decimating sugar crops. Now they are everywhere and considered a pest to native wildlife. There is a Chinese gardens in the background and lots of places to play Pokemon Go as well. If you head to the famous Bundaberg Rum Distillery, this is the main highlight of the place. They show huge tanks made of wood and metal and rum is stored and matured over two years. They mature with wood in order to give a better chemical reaction. Secondly, they also have cases of Bundaberg rum, which is a good sight. You can buy lots of these alcohol and get drunk yourself. Keep note that Bundaberg rum is consumer grade, meaning that it's not super high class. However, it's a good rum if you want to get drunk quickly. It is also 39% alcohol content, so it's pretty strong. I have personally touched my hands on their 79% grade alcohol and I can wash my hands with it. If you pay for the tour, they will give you a rundown of the factory. Keep in mind that you are not allowed to bring any electronic devices because if any electronic devices catch a fire to the factory, then of course, being alcohol, the whole factory could go into flames. Thereby, that would destroy its own supply of alcohol. But it's definitely a good tour and drinks are in the house. I personally tried out their original Bundaberg rum. I can't say I'm a fan of it, but they have better flavours like chocolate and coffee, as well as the salted caramel and vanilla flavours. If you are to come to Bundaberg, I will suggest you buy the chocolate and coffee rum. It's $50 a bottle or $135 for 3 bottles. You can only buy these directly from Bundaberg and they are not available elsewhere. They have other souvenirs as well, so you can buy those but personally, they are just not as good as the rum itself. Next up, you can go to the factory where they produce the Bundaberg ginger beer section. So they have a preview of the area where they create the products. They have ginger beer along with other soft drinks. To be honest, they do taste nice, but they're not my style of drinks. However, I do like the section where they show the making process. There are nice souvenirs to be had as well. If any of you have time, I will suggest driving east to a lookout and check out some of the farms in the area. I personally went to the Hummock Lookout. They grow sugarcane, wheat amongst others. There is a direct rail link from the Bundaberg Rum Distillery to those sugarcane farms, as Bundaberg Rum directly sources their sugarcane from the area. Despite recent floods arising due to long times of wet weather, the sugarcane area seems to be quite okay, as you can see from some of this drone footage. Nevertheless, it's a great to see that the area is okay. And if you head further east to the coast, you'll see the beaches. I personally visited Bangoro Beach. Now they're quiet and they have a chill vibe. I talked to a couple of locals in that area and there were no regrets. In fact, I even saw coconut trees with real coconuts in them. Though I'm not surprised considering that the area is relatively subtropical. 
So for the time being, enjoy some of my drone footage. Anyway, that's it for this video. Make sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel as it'll really help me out to create more content for you all to share. Until next time, I'll see you all soon.